What's up everybody, this is Yair and today we are going to draw Madara's Eternal Mangekyo Sharinga. Okay, so first we'll start by drawing a parallelogram just to get the overall shape of the eye. Next I'm just gonna draw one curve all the way up and another one will go all the way till the edge. I'm gonna pull one more curve down and then one more curve on the bottom. Next I'm gonna add some thickness to create the eyelashes so we'll do it all the way around. And I'm gonna add one more curve here. Awesome, now we'll draw the upper eyelid. Just like before, I'm gonna draw one curve up and the second one will go down a bit. I'm gonna add some wrinkles right here and then we'll draw the lower eyelid. Once we are done with that, we can draw the eyebrow. If you want, you can use this guideline just to target the right area. And then we'll pull a long curve all the way here. Now I'm gonna add some thickness to the eyebrow, so of course I'm gonna draw one line up. It's gonna be an oblique. And then I'm just gonna connect the dots all the way to the edge. Awesome, so now we can draw the iris. I'm gonna take a chisel glass and just place it right in the middle. And I'm gonna add some thickness to it. Just by using an object with a smaller radius. Next we're going to place the pupil right in the center of course. Now we'll mark three dots in the form of a triangle. I'm gonna do the same in the middle and make sure to spread them equally. Next I'm gonna draw one circle to each dot. And I'm gonna add some thickness. And that's how you draw a fidget spinner. Next I'm gonna draw one curve here and the other curve will go to the edge making this area a bit thicker and we'll do the same process here. Awesome, all we have to do now is just pull two lines to each dot, just like that. And I'm just gonna make minor adjustments. Awesome, and we are pretty much done with the sketching, so now we can ink this entire drawing. I'm gonna use a 0.05 for that, you can also use a 0.1. And really patiently I'm just gonna go all over the lines, make sure to have a firm grip on the pen. Of course, rotate the page just like I do, just to have your natural hand movement. Awesome, once we are done, I'm gonna use the Notorious Chuckwall Eraser to get rid of all the lead. And then I'll use the Exquisite Eraser Stick for those stubborn areas. Now, before we start using the markers, I'm gonna take the black pen and just 
fill those tiny edges just because I don't want to go over the lines with the markers. Okay, awesome. So now we can use the Copic markers. So for those who don't know, the Copic markers are alcohol based markers, which means they can blend very well. If you look at your top left of the screen, you can see the exact number of Copic I'll be using. So first I'm just gonna take the black marker and fill all the black areas. As you can tell, there's no blending here, just solid coloring. Awesome, once we are done with that, we can start coloring the eyebrows, so I'm gonna use a very dark grey for that. And with a fast brush strokes, I'm just gonna fill this entire area. Awesome, so now we can focus on the EMS. So for that I'm just gonna use three different tones of red. I'm gonna start with the bright color of red which will be R17 and I'm just gonna fill this entire area. Next I'm gonna color around the pupil with the mid-tone R46 that's a bit darker red and the next I'll blend it using the brightest color again. Awesome, so now I'm gonna color these blank areas with the same color and make sure to rotate the page as I do cause I want to get a nice gradient effect. Now we'll color the edges with the mid-tone again. And next we'll use a very dark red that will be R59. Next we'll blend the color so I'm gonna use the mid-tone first and then I'll use the brightest one again R17 and finally I'm gonna use the colorless blender number 0 just to get a nice blending all over. Awesome, once we are done with that I'm gonna add a nice shade so I'm gonna use a very bright gray for that, that will be C1. And I'll use a darker grey just for the edges. And to finish up this drawing I'm just gonna add a nice highlight using a white pen. I'm gonna make it a bit bigger and I'm gonna add one more dot here. And we are done everybody! 
this is how you draw Madara's Eternal Mangekyo Sharingan. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you did hit the like button and share this video to support my channel. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new I upload new videos every weekend and tomorrow I'm gonna upload a new drawing, a big fighting scene that you don't want to miss so stay tuned for that. And that's it, thanks for watching, don't forget to let me know what you think down below in the comment section. Keep being awesome and I'll see you tomorrow, peace! Eh, no, Mangekyo Sharingan,